Wait, wait. We pull or we push? We do the no. bombs. No, you have to two hit it that way. Yeah. Ding! <laughs> you gotta know these things. Yeah, they all do that. Holy cow. Yeah, because that changed from uh, electric from cars. mechanical farm to electric. Well, this uses the same pitman as the uh, four-wheel drive. Well, this the grease fitting. Oh, you have to grease that. It's dry. Yeah, well, I'm probably we're going to replace the whole rack and pinion, electric rack and pinion. Back in 1976, my mother went looking for a new car, and they opened the hood of a charger, and my father says, you could step right inside to work on the engine. There was so much room yeah, between the I, engine. Yeah, that's what I do on this one. <laughs> And you know, this I, I replaced this one, yeah, I, and I know I have, a, I have a few videos of it. The pulled you, it was metal before, yeah, and, the new seized, plastic. and my strap was still going around. I ran like it, I, I ran really? like this for a week, for a whole week. And after Please. I put back, after I put this one on, I put back my old strap, and it still still worked for a month after it. Yeah, good old Chevrolet! It's going around, I mean... See, I don't understand why the pitman arm here uses this tiny little tiny little pivot for all the steering, and yet the idler arm has this giant cast bracket. Overbuilt, underbuilt. underbuilt. <laughs> and that for years always wears out. The first part to wear is that right there. And if you, if you see that what, uh, that what I was uh, trying to tell you, or, or the, uh, the, steer, the, the steering box, if you take one from your truck, it's like this one, but the mounting tabs on the other side, so you can take it. And you can get bolted right there. And you got a... Double steering box. Yeah. Like my Tornado Motorhome. Had two steering boxes. Oh, yeah. Remember that? Remember the Tornado Motorhome? The Toro Home had two steering boxes. Yeah, because they, were, they weren't strong enough, so they put two... Uh, and one, two then another one. Anyways, it's gone. And the guy says the engine just clicks. It seized. I don't think it seized. I think the starter seized. Air conditioning. Original. Yeah, General original. Motors. Well, oh, it, use the it stopped switch. working a month after I bought the truck. Use a different switch than mine. Oh, they're all different. They're all different. Yeah, they so are. many differences. Some I did here, some I, I have this one mine is, there. And mine is tilted, and my pipe comes at the bottom. And the guy asked me at the auto yeah, parts store, yeah, he says, where does your pipe come out of? I said, the bottom. Oh, okay, it's this receiver dryer. But nobody could tell me where my expansion valve was. Yeah, it's, it's, it's behind the light. Behind yeah, the light? And yeah, it's yeah, so my, easy to get to. Yeah, yeah, mine's there too. It's almost like they made a mistake making it so easy to get to. You think they want to make it more complicated. No, they made it easy and simple. Uh oh, ground strap. Code violation. Yep. You're gonna have static on your radio now. R134A. Converted. converted. That was my first yes, conversion man. on my pickup truck to R134. It's converter. Yeah, because it uses a bigger cap. The 134. Yeah. I yep. thought it was. It would cost me a. No, this is the bigger cap. See, on mine, I put the conversion, ex the conversion extender on okay, it. Uses so the it's larger not cap. Converted. It's the little one, like the tire valve. Exactly. Okay, okay, exactly. Okay. It's the I same. thought it wasn't converted, so I said, "Well, I'm not going to fix it because it's going to cost me a R134." And this is no, this is not converted. This is original because it doesn't have the conversion. Mine, the conversion is screwed on. This is uh, what year is this? Ninety-four. So maybe the first year was ninety-three, ninety-four. Maybe there was a transition for a few years. Yeah. But unless. Seems like it. Maybe they converted it. I, I don't remember. This looks like original. I don't think. But I don't think so because the, the guy said it was working, and it, 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 it indeed was. It was working when I bought the truck, but it stopped working after. Uh, so maybe it's just missing. Winter, so. All you have to do does the clutch engage? No, it doesn't because uh, it won't engage because there's, there's no, no pressure. pressure. So all you have to yeah. do is bypass that with um, yeah, and a paper clip it, and just engage it, it, it manually. I'm sure. I'm sure the clutch works. That, I'm sure. But now the problem that I have the bearing is is dead on this. I have, a, I, have a, I, I have a bearing like pulley. Oh, the, the idler bearing or yeah. the compressor? The you, you could can turn the compressor like that. Yeah. That's turning the compressor. Yeah, but that does, that does the bearing between the two. Right. That's, so that yeah, yeah. doesn't want to fail. So the bearing under here, so it needs a new compressor. I don't know if you could change that one. I don't know. These compressors are junk. I was talking to my buddy Spiked Punk, and he says, make sure you put the PAG 150 extra thick. Overfill it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he says, because you've got to quiet it down. All right, so what do we got here? 1995 C10. 94. 94. Five-bolt wheels, two-wheel drive. Good for summertime driving. Uh-oh, a plug in the side of the tire. Yep. Yeah, get arrested for that. Uh, yeah. As long as it works, so who cares? Yeah, well, I'm replacing it, and I'm, that's one of the reasons why I'm Oh, nice doors. Where'd you find those? <laughs> On the side of the road? Right. 
Oh, this one has those thin pins. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Squeeze? Yeah, because I, I am my friend brain the drug. We were discussing the uh, hinge pins. These are those thin pins, the thin wall pins. See the bottom one? Nope, I take that back. Nope, they are the, they're the ones with the little grooves. Yep, they're the same one that, that's on the truck. Yep. That's the one I bought there. Yep. Those are the bigger ones. They used to be called the oversized, but GM uses them, and that was standard. Anyhow, lots of stories. Multiple colors. These straps were yeah, recalled. The, uh, the bed liner, the, yep. They were recalled by GM, and my friend had them replaced on his pickup truck that he bought brand new, and they were made in China right. from GM. You know what I'm gonna, I want to get? I want to get the, the, um, the bar, just like the guy I had there. Oh, did he have a bar on his? I didn't yes. notice. Yes, he had a bar. I'm looking. Is I'm he looking still there? Yeah, he's still there. I'm going to walk over and take a look, check it out. I think it's much safer with the... Well, with of the course. Car, those with those the, cables the are cable strapped. Because water seeps into the cable and just... Yeah, eats the, the Fonzie hood. So this one has yeah. the bars. That's what I want. But does it have a different bolt there? No, or it's similar? the same. Torx. They told me it was the same. Oh, look yeah. at that. It's just the, uh, it just depends on the, on the year of the model. Next time I go like to the yes. junkyard, this has got the uh, half moon speedometer. Yeah, that must be, uh... It's a half moon so speedometer? Yeah. 1990. Is it 88, 89, 90? 89, yeah. Because... New gas tank. 91 was all small. Except if you had... I think it's 3500. 3500, they went up to 94 with those. With the straps on the back. How do you like that? I have to get these. Did you see the modification I did on my tailgate latch a couple of years ago? No. It's hollow. This used to be a solid bar, yeah. but it's hollow now. It's a yeah, yeah, mine, mine is solid. And mine were worn through. So I welded it, and then I welded a piece on here, and then I welded a piece onto the plate so this couldn't move in the plate. Yeah, yeah, my truck was so worn out, the tailgate was moving around. I thought it would just take me a few minutes to fix it. It took me the whole day. You see how it moves? So no matter how hard, no matter how tight you make this, yeah, it's, gonna, it's, gonna wiggle it's still going to wiggle because yep. I'm looser. So I modified this and that. I welded that flat and I welded a piece. <laughs> but you know what? All you had to do was replace the, the rubber here and you would have sold I the I think problem. I put a shim behind the rubber as well. Oh, yeah? It didn't work. Oh, yeah. It didn't work because it was still loose. But I, want, I, I tried want. everything. You didn't see the video. <laughs> I tried everything. <laughs> oh, it has a fifth wheel. Because there's a trailer hitch here. Mm -hmm. So it must have had a fifth wheel. Yeah. We're just checking out the differences in all the years of these Chevy trucks. <laughs> and the ladder rack is removable. It's a tight fit, though. Okay, that's the, How's the uh, step bumper on it? It's pretty straight. All right, we'll let you do your demolition. We're just disturbing you. Oh, it's even got a little mailbox slot. Yeah. Yep. All right, how's my building coming along? They're investigating. At least they got the first floor or the second floor done. Sheds. Even has its own apartment number, 528. The worst I've seen, I've seen, uh, well, I think it was in, in Paradise. 